Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on Windows Phone 8 for students at King Faisal University and for others who want to learn mobile app development. This is part 11 in this series entitled Looping Statements for Windows Phone 8 App Development Using C Sharp. Three of the looping statements in C Sharp are for, while, and do while. Looping statements allow us to repeat a statement or group of statements several times. These three looping statements are always tied with a condition. For our first application, we will allow a user to enter a number and click a button to trigger the computation and display of the numbers, factors, and first 10 multiples. Let's create our new project. We'll call it app11 underscore when. OK. OK. Let's change our title panel. This one is app 11 win. Let's name it factors. Now click the content panel, then the toolbox. We need a text block, a text box, and a button. Let's try to make our text box smaller. Also our button. Let's put it on the right. This is button one. And we'll change the content to go. Our text box will make it TBX1. This is where the user will enter the number. We'll delete the text and our input scope is only number. This text block will have a text of number. Now let's just copy these two components for the factors and the multiples. Okay. So this and this one should be read only. The second text box, we're going to name it TBX2. And the third uh, text box to TBX3. This one should have a text of factors, meaning we're going to place the factors of the number in the text box beside it, and the other one will be the multiples, meaning the text box beside it will contain the multiples of the number. Now we're done with the design. Let's double click our button to create the event there. Uh, first, let's try to make the text property of our uh, two text boxes below equal to nothing. So that's text box 2 and text box 3 equal to nothing. Then we'll get our number from text box 1. To do that, we'll convert it to in 32 there and that is the number from text box when from its text property okay so it's number now we need to declare another variable for the counter so for x is equal to when it's initially when and then x is less than or equal to the number We'll increment it by 1. The condition if, so to know if it's a factor or not, if that number is modally divided by our counter and the result is 0, that means it's a factor. So we'll simply put in tbx2 dot text the number plus its previous numbers. So that will be x. And then we'll just put a space to separate it from the other numbers. Okay, the second is for the multiples. This time we'll use a while statement. Let's uh, initialize our counter x by 1. So this is while. The condition is we will multiply the number from 1 to 10 because it's uh, the first 10 multiples. So to do that, in our text box 3 dot text property we will simply 
add the value of the product of n and x class. We'll just put a space to separate them. Oh no, we forgot uh, to increment our x. And there's a red, okay. It should be another plus there for our the increment. Done. Uh, let's try it in our emulator. So for the number, let's try 25. Click go. There. The factors of 25 are 1, 5, and 25. It's first 10 multiples. 25, 50, 75, 100, 125. Click. 150 up to 250. In our second app, we will allow a user to fill a list box with numbers using a text box and a button. Then we will add another button to trigger the computation and display of the numbers total or sum using a text block. So let's create a new project, file new project. This is for app 11 underscore 2. Okay. Okay. Let's change our title. This is up 11 underscore 2 and the page name will make it sum of a list. Let's click the content panel in the toolbox. We need a text box and a button. Let's try to make our text box smaller so that the button can fit in on the right. Let's change this button to button 1. Uh, this is to add some values in the list, in the list box that we're going to create. This one, this is tbx1. And initially, we'll delete the text property. Then, uh, we need a list box, so we'll just create a list box from scratch there. Let's uh, name it LBX1. Maybe we can put a width of 100 and a height of 200. Okay, now we can close our list box. There's our list box. Let's just put it a little on top. Uh, before we forget, we have to change the input scope of our text box to number so that only numbers can be added by the user. Now let's double click our button to create the event. We will add in list box 1 the value that we will get from text box 1 dot text. And then we'll simply make the text property again blank or nothing. Okay, so this time we need a second button and a text block to hold the result. Let's put it here and our text block below it. This button will now be button 2 and this is to get the sum. Get sum. And this text block will be named TBK1. This is our first text block. Now let's create an event for get sum. Uh, first let's declare two variables that we will be using. Sum is equal to zero and x which will be our counter. We'll, do, we'll use do well uh, for this problem, for this application that we're doing. So what are we going to do here? We will simply get the sum by adding the previous sum to whatever is inside our item. So to do that, lbx1 dot items, and we will reference it like an array x. Correct. Close semicolon. Now we can increment our counter. Now what will be our well condition? Our well condition will be while x is less than uh, our list box one dot items items correct dot count 
there. Okay, I guess that's it. Uh, the only thing that's missing is the result. So we will put put the result in our text box text block one. Let's put sum is plus our sum that we need to convert to string. Well, that's it. Let's try to run it in our emulator. Okay, let's try to add some numbers too. Let's add another 6. Let's add another 57. Let's add another 32. Let's add another 17. Then let's get the sum. Sum is 112. Well, again, congratulations. We just finished using looping statements in Windows Phone 8. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.